What's up, guys? You know who it is, so you know what time it is. Another fragrance review from the house of Gucci in the year 2008. This one is Gucci by Gucci. That's your bottle. I really love the top on it. Kind of reminds me of a tongue ring. Um, we all enjoy those, don't we? So, bottle sizes on this one. We're going to jump straight into it. There's a one ounce for $50, a 1.7 for $57. And this one here, the big one, is the 3 ounce, and it runs 73 uh, on Gucci's website. Now, you can go on FragranceNet, catch it a little cheaper. Um, 1.7 for $53, and this big one for $67. And then you can use that coupon code Base Notes, saves you 15% off. So you can catch it around $55. Uh, you know, you're saving close to $20 off of retail, which is not bad. Now, uh, notes on this one. Top notes, you've got Bergamot, Cypress. And violet heart, you've got tobacco and jasmine. Base, you have patchouli, amber, incense, and leather. Um, initial blast on this one, when you first spray it, you're going to catch almost a transparent, uh, smoky woods, but at the same time, it's got a citrus aquatic vibe. Um, I guess that's where that transparency comes from. Um, it's got the, the sweet woods in the background, but then it's got like this. this bite of bergamot you know it's kind of crisp just poking through gives it a, a real clean but still smoky vibe I don't really know how to explain it uh, very in depth it's kind of hard to compare it to anything because there's nothing else I, I can think of to compare it to but uh, very very well done and I've never had anybody that I've came in contact with that does not like it when we get into the mid on this the citrus notes completely leave. Uh, the tobacco starts to stand out very well with some slight floral. Now that's my favorite part of this fragrance. The floral combined with the smoky woods and the tobacco, um, they almost go hand in hand. It would be like a fresh tobacco leaf. Uh, a leaf that's still on the plant growing, hasn't been dried out yet. Very, very well done. The base, the sweet amber starts to shine. It's got some spiciness from the incense. The patchouli lingers in the back, so does the leather. You can note that they're there, but I honestly don't think you would realize that they were unless you knew that they were already there. When I first smelled this, I didn't smell leather. Then when I read the notes, sniffed it again, yeah, I can see the leather now. So very, very well blended. Um, they done, Gucci done a excellent job making this one. Now who would wear this one? Uh, anybody from the ages of 25 to 40 could pull this off at work or basically anytime if you're working indoors. I wouldn't wear this if I worked like a construction site in the middle of summer by no means. Uh, the heat would definitely choke you out on this one. Now if you're in college, high school, you want to go out on a date or even to maybe a football game, this is the perfect fragrance because if you're taking your wife or your girlfriend out on a date, you're not going to be out too long, so I'm going to get into that one in just a minute. I'll tell you what, I'll come back to that. Longevity, let's go ahead and start the grading because that's where it's at. Longevity, I gave this one a C. Only last four to five hours, six tops depending on the weather and how my skin wants to act that day. Not the greatest, but it is about average. Uh, for the price, eh, you're kind of in that price point with everything anyway on most decent designers. So I gave it a C, it's average. Projection, I gave it a B. Does very well while it's there for about three hours. Now, with three hours being most of the fragrance life, I had to give it an above average mark because I judged it versus the life, not versus the actual hours. Siage, I gave it a B. Uh, you're going to leave a nice scent trail, just like your projection, for the first mm, three hours or so. Now, this is what I was saying as far as the date goes. If you're taking your wife or your girlfriend out on a date, Dinner and a movie, for instance. You're going to spend an hour between getting to the restaurant, eating, and then another hour and a half at the movies. You know, two and a half hours is gone by, three, three and a half by the time you get home. It's pretty much turned into a skin scent at that point in time. So, it's projected good. You know, you, you've been fairly aromatic while she's sitting across the table from you. All right now you're at the movies. It's starting to get a little closer, starting to die down, you know, kind of elbow room. She can still smell it sitting next to you, but it's not real strong, but it's serving its purpose well. 
Now, by the time you've gotten home, you're walking her to the door. Like, that's if it's your girlfriend. If it's your wife, you know, you, you guys are probably coming in, taking off your shoes, going to sit on the couch, watch some TV. Well, once it's time to start getting close, you know, either the kiss goodnight or time to snuggle up and watch TV at home or to that effect, it's turned into a skin set. So if she wants to smell it and she's enjoying it, she's going to have to pull you closer. So, you know, that being said, it's, it's really, it serves its job very well while you're using it. So is it worth the price? In my opinion, even at $73 if you buy it from a retail store, yes, it's definitely worth the price. Uh, nobody that I've met doesn't like it. It garners tons of compliments. Uh, ladies love it because it's clean, it's fresh, but at the same time, it's smoky, it's sweet, and it's masculine. It's, it's the best of every which world you can pick, uh, especially with this being at a designer price. Definitely, definitely a pickup for me. All right, guys, so that was my review of Gucci by Gucci. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.